Hey my friends, real nice Guyana here again with another traditional Guyanese recipe one that you probably never had since you were a kid many 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 years ago and today we're going to be making that and showing you how to do that and it's no other than Kalonji which is made with Karela or bitter melons stuffed with shrimp and for this recipe here we're going to be using some peeled divine shrimp one tablespoon of roasted ground jeera one tablespoon of garam masala one and a half tablespoon of curry powder salt to taste we're going to be using half of a coconut so we're not going to be using the whole coconut just half one onion about 10 cloves of garlic one weary weary pepper and four corallas here or bitter melon also two stems of green onions and that's all the ingredients we're going to be needing for this dish so let's get started guys so we find that this corallas here the bitter melon the one the bumpy ones like this they are a bit they cook a lot better than the, the smooth ones so we always try to get these ones here, the bumpy ones. Okay, so let's get started guys. So to prepare the karela for the kalonji, first we're gonna cut off the two tips of the karela. And then you have to remove the inside. So what they used to normally do in the olden days is just cut it down in the middle there and remove the inside, the seeds and the the guts of it. But you can also use a spoon like we are doing here and remove it. So that one is done already. So we're gonna do all like this and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So as you can see we were able to get all the seeds out of here with the spoon. So you can try if you can, then you can cut it down the middle. When this was cut down the middle on one side to get the insides out in order to fill it with the shrimp. What they would do is, after filling it, is wrap it with a string and then cook it that way. After it's cooked, then you remove the string. But by doing this here, the way we have done it, you don't need to do anything. You can just cook it like that with a little piece open at the end. That's not a problem. So we are mincing our garlic here. For the filling, you want the filling to be as smooth. You don't want chunks in there. So our seasoning is going to be as fine as possible. So this here we are crushing on this sill here. You can crush it in a mortar, whichever way you like. But just as finely as possible. The onion, we are going to grate that. So that's going to be fine as well. And we are also grating our coconut. So the coconut milk also is a traditional ingredient in this dish. So we are grating our onion here now. So we're going to wash our corallas here, our bitter melon. And we have grated the onion and the garlic. And the pepper is also here. We only used half of the onion because it was a very large onion. We didn't need that much. Because it's only four small corallas we're using here, bitter melon. So we are also grinding our green onion here. Of course you can blend all of these together, which is a lot easier. You can blend this, the garlic and the onion, the pepper all together. We've also grated our half coconut here, so everything is ready. So the first step here, is to steam the karelas so we're gonna we have heated some water here and we're gonna add that there 
and let it steam for about five minutes. Okay guys, so the five minutes is up for the Corella here, the bitter melon steaming. That's done now. Okay, so now we're gonna take out this bitter melons here and set it aside. So the next step here is we're gonna mix all the seasonings together and get them ready. So we had the onion, the pepper, and the garlic in there. We added curry powder, the garam masala, and the roasted ground jeera there. So we're gonna mix all of those together. So you're basically making a curry paste here. The kalonji is really a uh, shrimp stuff, bitter melon curry. So the next step my friends is the shrimp which we have washed already. We're gonna now put in this karahi here, heated karahi to burn the water out of that. We're gonna add some salt there too. So as soon as the water dries out from this here guys, you want to remove it from the heat. You don't want it to stay too long there. Getting rubbery. Okay guys, so this didn't take very long. The shrimp is dry there now, so we're gonna remove this. So our next step for this kalonji here guys is we have to grind our shrimp and that is what we're gonna do here now on this sill. You can also use a blender or whatever you like. We're just using this here because we did the garlic and everything here so we are continuing to use this. And this is how it was done in the olden days. So. This is the exact way it would have been made. So you want to grind this shrimp here as fine as possible, almost like a paste. So our shrimp is all ground here guys. So to this karahi here, we have now added about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil. So what we are going to do now, we are going to bungee the shrimp here. And we are only going to be using half of the curry paste that we mixed. And the other half is going to be used to finish the dish. Okay. Okay, so the next step is that we have to bungee our shrimp, which is currying the shrimp. So we are going to use half of the curry paste that we had mixed. So after about 2 minutes, we're going to add our shrimp here now. Now we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt to this. So 
So we're only going to be bonjouring this shrimp here for about 3 minutes or so because it's going to be further cooked after it's stuffed. And bonjouring is basically currying something and drying it down. So this shrimp is ready now and we're going to move on to the next step. So this is our bunjal shrimp here and we're going to wait for it to cool off a bit before we start stuffing the bitter melons. So the shrimp has cooled off a bit and we're going to start stuffing the bitter melons now. So we have our bit melons all stuffed now with the bonjal shrimp. And the next step now is that we have heated some oil here. And we're just gonna fr lightly fry these karelas in here. So we're going to fry these karelas here now until they are a little brown. So you can of course do this in one of those flat frying pans where you will be able to do all four at once. So you finish browning the karela, the bitter melon here, and this is what it looks like. You're just looking to brown it a bit on the outside. And now we're going to move on to the next step. So now to finish off this kalonji here, the last step here now we are going to curry this bitter melon here now, the stuffed bitter melon. So we added about 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil in here. And the rest of our curry paste, the other half of our curry paste. And now we are going to curry these. with the coconut milk. So we're going to add our coconut milk here now. So to this here we're going to add about a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give that a little stir. And we've added a very very pepper there. So we're just going to let this cook here now guys, uncovered.
so we let this boil for about 20 minutes guys uh, it has dried down a bit here now uh, you don't want to leave this with too much of a gravy and this kalonji is done here now so this is it here guys Guyanese kalonji and as you can see we have a thick gravy there with the coconut milk and the shrimp mix in there delicious so we're gonna cut into one of these here now and see what the inside looks like as you can see the bitter melon is soft cooked and there you have your filling in there still intact so as you can see you can just make the holes at the two ends and fill them and cook them like that and the filling is going to stay in there as opposed to slitting it right through and then tying it before you cook it like they did in the old days so there you have it guys your kalonji Guyanese kalonji recipe and I can't remember if I said but if you don't like the shrimp you can substitute that with chicken or fish or whatever you like and there you have it guys Guyanese Kalonji by Real Nice Guyana if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe when you subscribe you get notified by email of every video that we post to YouTube so you don't miss any of them please share this video and as always thanks for watching take care guys bye